Hi everyone, welcome back to Monday Meds. I hope your week is off to a great start. And yes, it's, um, it's Memorial Day holiday here in America. And um, happy Memorial Day to all Americans everywhere, those who are here in America and those who are around the world. And we remember the, the men and women who sacrificed their lives for our freedom. And we also um, pray for their families. We pray for their families, even as many of them has experienced recent loss. And so, yes, we thank, we thank God for the sacrifices that we have freedom today. And um, we welcome back to those who are joining me for, um, who have been joining me, and welcome to those who are joining me for the first time. Yes. So um, we have some shout outs. Shout out to you, Heather, and your son, Matthew. Nice meeting you guys yesterday, or last week, sorry, in um, New York. And um, shout out to you, Joseph and Molly. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, John and Michelle. Hope you, um, you had a safe delivery of your baby girl. And yes, shout out to you, um, Alicia, and your daughters. Nice to meet you guys. Shout out to you, Megan. And... Um, Stay tuned for the rest of this video. Shout out to you, Amanda. Shout out to you, Tony, Jafar, Amina. Shout out to you, Ray, and your husband of 25 years. Congratulations to you guys on your silver anniversary. Shout out to you, Catalina. Shout out, Maxwell, Renee, Phoebe, Lanisha. So nice to meet you close to my name shout out to you and shout out I hope you enjoy you're enjoying your vacation this week and shout out to you Tony Tony and Abby yes continue to watch this video and um, yes we are talking about social health and marriage today and um, to all of my friends who have birthdays today shout out to you happy birthday Judith happy birthday Prince happy birthday Ellie and I pray God's blessings upon you and yours yes the Sun is here and I got to put my glasses out the Sun has been been shining and so um, yes it's good for us to get some sunshine it's nice summery weather here stay hydrated guys I gotta make sure I make I I let you know that remind you of that stay hydrated drink lots of water not coffee <laughs> drink lots of water all right so as we um, go into social health and marriage marriage we know um, from the Christians perspective is um, it's the union between the a male and a female so a man and a woman and um, they are um, they are joined together by God and so that is why we say we say um, till death do us part that is also why we we go in front of a minister a pastor usually or a priest many times and um, and we make our vows before God and in front of all our family members and um, last week we talked about um, wedding regrets and um, thank you so much Nadia for sharing and that comment thank you for sharing it that um, she's my childhood friend yes thank you so much and um, if you have not seen the comment definitely check it out it's beautiful and I'm glad you enjoyed our wedding and um, I'm sorry we missed yours and um, we we talk about um, I did talk about um, saving saving for your wedding and yes thank you Nadia for the reminder that definitely you have to decide how much you want to spend and stick to your budget and um, no matter what your wedding day regrets are the point of the matter is that it's not so much about the wedding it is really about the marriage the life that you will live and yes Ray it's the first day of your life it's the first day of your life together as a couple and for many people it's the first day it's the best day of their life all together and so um, even though that is important with the wedding the marriage is really what counts and so as we talk about social health social health and um, and marriage I want to give you you know I always give you an illustration and I will just give you the I'll give you the illustration first off. So this is a chord. This is one chord, and this is another, or one rope, another rope, and there's a third rope. 
and the Bible talk about a three strand rope. Now this individual rope, they have many different strands. So I would not have used one strand of, or one rope. But my point is, as you tied the knot, as you tied the knot, make sure that you have God in the middle of it. And make sure you tie that knot really tight. Yes, um, this is a square, a reef knot, um, knot or a square knot. And one of the beauty about this type of knot is that it actually supports each other as as um, one end is tied it's just like tying your shoes lace as one end is tied the other and str um, drawn stronger the other is drawn stronger so the closer you get to each other the closer you'll get to God and remember keep him in the center of your marriage and you will have a beautiful marriage so um, as we talk about social health in marriage, social health in marriage. Um, remember that marriage is a covenant. Marriage is a covenant between you and God, not you and your parents. It's not a covenant between you and your sister, nor your, your parents, nor any other family member, nor any other person. Marriage is a covenant between you and your spouse. So you have to guard that well. Um, I know of many couples who, um, they're the mother-in-law, um, damaged their relationship and, and and it ended up in divorce. One of the things I'm going to encourage you um, in marriage or married people is that you establish your own private home no matter what. There are times when you may need help and support from your family members but you have to make sure you have your own space. And um, that's one thing that Doug Batchelor always talked about. Um, so definitely I'll, ch I'll share that in the description section of this video. And um, if you have not liked my, my, um, my, this video yet, like it, give it a thumbs up, and definitely share it with your family and your friends. And also definitely hit that subscribe bell and uh, make sure you, uh, you, um, you, you sign on for those notifications when I share new videos. So yes, you have to guard your commitment. That's a part of your social health. Marriage is a, between you and your spouse. Yes, you will have children and they will come in, but you have to guard it also and not let anyone, as the Bible says, that what God brought together or joined together, let no man put asunder. Yes, marriage is beautiful. I know I've talked with many of you um, cohabiting couples. Marriage is a gift from God, especially if you marry the right person. It is a beautiful, beautiful institution. And yes, it brings security. Why get married? It brings security. It brings stability. It also brings, um, it frees you. When you have sex, it frees you of a guilty conscience. Yes, I've talked with many couples who have had sex before marriage and yes it definitely and they have attested that it definitely um, helps that they are um, they're free in when they're having sex with their um, their spouse and yes you are uh, many people say what you'll never it will not change anything it will change your name usually will change your mind will change your soul will change and yes your identity will change. All right, I'm running against the clock. So before um, I, I end, I want to um, share this secrets, secrets of a happy wife. And the number one secret is to remember your third partner. The number one secret is to remember your third partner. So Ephesians 4 verse 12 says, a cord, a three corded strand, or three strand cord will never be broken. Remember that, not easily broken. I pray you have a wonderful day and yes, we will continue with part two next week. God be with you and have a wonderful week ahead.